Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, to all of you all that have been here from start to finish, thank you all for hanging out with us. Yes, indeed. We didn't know how this show was going to go, to be honest with you. We were like, okay, it looks interesting, let's give it a shot. Yeah. Turns out to be one of my freaking favorite shows. Exactly. And I hate to see the freaking show go. Yeah, I was like, I don't even want to do this review because it's kind of like finalized that it's over. Yeah. Man. So we're sorry that it is a little late. We've had a full weekend, so yeah, I hope it you is did what it too. is. Yeah. Hope it was well as ours was well. Um, <coughs> this one was called Love and Marriage Huntsville Melody's Last Stand. Mm. For me, it should have been called Transitions because to me, it seemed like everybody was transitioning to a better version of themselves in this mm -hmm. episode and I was here for it. Yeah. Now what I will say is this has been the most vulnerable and the most real that I have seen Melody mm -hmm. this entire season and I lived for every moment yeah. of it and I wish we had more of that. Exactly. Because I think that, I mean, most of, all of us love Melody, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. but this whole dynamic of what her and her husband are going through, and then you're able to see when they switch up to go to, let's put on a happy face, we're the perfect mm -hmm. couple, let's do our thing, to this very vulnerable side of her that we all love because we see it. Yeah. But in the real world, we're trying to figure out, what is it? this translating over to just good TV? for ratings and a check or are you all really going through what you all portray that you're mm -hmm. going through in real time as exactly. the show is going on you know what i'm saying yeah so we're really kind of confused i know i'm confused yeah me too oh, but, I, but I'm, I'm hoping that it is transitional that it is it's not smoke and mirrors i hope not yeah but either way i don't know these people <laughs> yeah <laughs> so they ain't calling me giving me no tea so but Good luck but with at the same time, you know, shout outs to the producer, um, Carlos. Yeah, King. Carlos. If it is for good TV, you did your you, thing. You did your thing, man. You you got us. Yeah. You got me. <laughs> it is what it is. But Carlos, remember what I told you? We need a reunion. Yeah, for and sure. And more for sure. importantly, I can forgive you if you don't do the reunion if you come back for season two. Yeah. So that's the deal. Either I'm going to forgive you or we're going to be real. We're going to be enemies. They need a season two because the way they left us yeah. got us wondering where is the Hawks now? What's going to end up with the relationship? So season two got to be coming, man. Mm -hmm. Pause. My yeah. nose is running. Okay. <laughs> uh, why But to, but to add to what you said about Melody, this is the Melody that we knew from the beginning. Yeah, we peeped it from the But we was jump. like, why are you covering it up? You know, let us have it. Be real. That's what we here for. Let, let me let you know on a little secret, Melody. You ain't the first person that don't got cheated on. Nah, it ain't the last one. It ain't gonna be the last one. Somebody, Thank God we ain't never gonna deal yeah. with this. Somebody's but getting somebody cheated. somebody don't got cheated somebody on Somebody getting cheated on right now. Right now. And the person that they would don't even know it. Oh, they do know it. And I'm going to get to a whole lot of things once we get there. Because I'm like, dang, Melody. You put a whole lot of skit in perspective. But we're going we gonna to get yeah. there. Okay, so last week we, we left off where the comeback group was like, you know what? We ain't going to be able to do this. So Melody was like, you know what? I'm out. This is not mm -hmm. what I'm here for. This ain't what I signed up for. Which was really funny to me because Melody was the person that wanted the comeback group to come back together. Yeah, so Martel and was like, I don't was know. Like, I don't, yeah. <laughs> and you first one out, first one in, first one out. So she went over there and she started talking to this lady named Kim, Kim and Larry. Yeah. And they were her plan B. They, she was like, you know, I still want the initiative to go forth, but I can't do it with the group that I'm currently with. Now, this is what I did like about Miss Kim. Mm -hmm. Kim said, tell me what the issues are uh -huh, with the that, group yep, that exactly. you're currently with. Exactly. Because what you're not going to do it's is bring, bring it me old, in. Yeah, on all these issues. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then, of course, you're going to plead your case to benefit you. Exactly. You could be the freaking problem. Exactly. So she listened to him and she was like, you know, <laughs> would the people in the group be willing to let you out? of your obligations like a buyout and melody was like i think that you know a buyout they would be down for and i'm like 
No. No. Because it the initiative is, isn't even about money. Exactly. The it's, initiative it's, is about getting pe well. The people that deserve to stay in Huntsville can exactly. actually have the option to stay because there will be affordable housing mm -hmm. available for them instead of them being flushed mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. by all of these big corporations that come in mm -hmm. and build these goddamn popsicle st um, stick houses mm -hmm. and charging you three to four hundred thousand dollars. And the for. taxes going through the roof. Yeah. So you might can afford the house, but you can't afford the taxes. So. I don't really know how that meeting left off, but I did like that Kim was, that Kim was like, mm, yeah, give me the tea and let me sit on this because I'm not. But I think she was peeping that something wasn't right because why is you over here for a plan B when you haven't fully worked out what's going on? A. And we're in the other group. Yeah, so yeah, she was calling out on that. Yeah, door. so she was trying to yeah. have a date on her husband. That's yeah. what it was. Uh -huh. So. Kimmy had an opportunity to ride through the Huntsville neighborhood. You know, she got stood up for um, something with business. Some, somebody ain't come through. Y'all know how, how yeah, it is. Yeah, one of the customers. Yeah. And um, she was able to see that, okay, we are in the prime of the real estate market mm -hmm. right now. And yeah. it's on and she's popping. And guess who is not in the game? Us. We ain't in the game. The comrade group. <laughs> Everybody, I mean, they popping up houses faster than the contractors can mm -hmm. build them. Mm -hmm. And we're not here. This is what we came here together for. We yeah. came together to do this, but yet we're the only people standing on the sidelines watching these houses get built. Arguing. Arguing about <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that it's not nothing because there is a lot of bullshit. It's nothing in comparison to what they're trying to accomplish. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. And Kimmy was like, you know what, she told Maurice, she said, I'm going to have to call a meeting because at the end of the day, the revitalization of Huntsville is what we came to do mm -hmm. and we're not doing it. And at the end of the day, when you think about it in hindsight being 2020, we all came from a Huntsville. Yeah, for real. So if we have an opportunity to make changes and to be the change that we mm -hmm. want to see in every major city, why don't we put all of our skit aside? And, and let's, let's do, do it. This thing. Yeah, let's make it happen. And I said, come on. Okay. Yeah. But it kind of brought me back to like even here in Richmond. I mean, you look all around, oh, you see Lord. construction everywhere. So even like, you know, the loop, the news paint this picture that ain't nothing going on. We broke as a uh as United States or whatever. Yeah. But you still see stuff happening. So it's like, okay, stop listening to the news and look at what's happening. Go out and see. And not only look at what's happening, let's be a part of it, man. So I'm like, I started thinking to myself, like, what can I do? Yeah. To make my community better, to be a part of this transition that's going on. Yeah, and it's crazy because when they said that, I was like, that's happening. Well, it has been happening. Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. But I don't even know if you saw on the news on Friday, the Jamaica House. Mm -hmm. Jamaica House has been a part of Richmond ever since I was yeah, a little girl. Yes. You would come here to get authentic Jamaican food downtown. Mm -hmm. You had to fight for parking. Yeah. I hope you don't get robbed on the way over there. But it was a piece of us that we were established yeah. in the neighborhood. They got flushed out on Friday. No. They got flushed out on Friday. VCU wow. bought them out. Wow. To we basically told them take the money or we will do eminent domain. Yeah. And like for our family that's up in um in Merlin area. I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all know about, Jamaica House. <laughs> yeah, and y'all knew about Proud Mary's up there where y'all was at. They, did they got too. flushed out. And we believe they got flushed out from MGM. MGM. Yeah, because there was some good, authentic seafood up there. And we heard that they was closed. And I was like, what is going on? Yeah. And that's like, I was like, that's why we have to step up to support each other, man. It's, you we yeah. got to, man. And I know it's hard. Yeah, it's hard because all of us got a whole bunch of skip with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, we do. So but let's not even act like that's not yeah. even a thing. Mm -hmm. We don't. Some of us don't do business properly. They say they're gonna do stuff and they don't do it, or they cutting corners. Mm -hmm. But in every ocean of fish, there are good fish. Yeah, you just have just you have to weed and them out. And they was one of the ones. They was they was good. I, every time we went up there, it was always a pleasant. We try to yeah. we try to go up there at least every three two months, or, yeah two or three times a um, year yeah and we was you know pussyfooting around and said we're yeah, gonna get up it. there we're gonna put it up there we're gonna get up there and heard they close yeah yeah so kimmy called the meeting but in the meantime y'all <laughs> my soul i'm coming for you yeah uh -huh, you know, you know. <laughs> okay 
Letitia, y'all remember last week she had that interview, which I knew that interview was all for TV because there's uh -huh. no way that she got that job with the interview that she gave. Touche. <laughs> so, come to find out that she did get an opportunity to come on board with the company that she interviewed with. Mm -hmm. Well, somewhere in that interview process, she was able to sneak in there what her husband did mm -hmm. and what he was able to bring to the table as kind of a non-official package and more deal, value. an added value to yeah. you bringing me on staff, I <clears> could <throat> actually have him in the pocket for a whole lot of things that could be done in his area of expertise. Exactly. So the lady was like, you know, I love to have you on board. And I also have a buyer. A buyer has bought up a whole bunch of land and they want to build a hotel here. But instead of them going with a GMO or contract, all that good stuff, that's in another area. I was like, why don't you try someone locally? Right here. And do you think your husband would be interested in something like that? <laughs> no brainer. Yes, ma'am. So Letitia did like I would do. When I know I don't prove my point, I get dressed up. Hey, uh -huh. baby, let's go out to eat. Let's go to Ruth Chris real quick. Because I got something I want to lay on you real quick, you know. So she sat down and she was like, listen, behind your back, this is what I had been doing. I went around there. I had and you can see his face broke. Because like, what we tell you, Marcel, rules uh -huh. and um, plans, they're good. But at some point, you have to renegotiate when mm -hmm. somebody ain't feeling the plan 100%. You yeah. got to go back to the drawing board and see where you all can meet in the middle. And make it better. And make it better. And make it so that everyone is benefiting. Benefiting. Exactly. And I believe that's what she did. Yep. She, she did it 100% spot on too, man. And she did that thing. And not only did she do that thing for her, she did that thing for you too. Yep. But she done brought that dang on contract to the forefront for you to be able to put your bid in to start negotiating a contract with or this hotel. company. I say you... The biggest, could, the biggest deal of his career came through his wife. That's awesome. Because the scripture said, That's a awesome. man that findeth a what? Finds a wife, find of a good thing. And finds favor. With the Lord. You got favor today, bro. You get yes, this. Sir, man. And we doing good. this on a Sunday. Yeah. Did the church say amen? Amen. That was good, man. Yeah. And he and now he like, you know, he got to swallow, you got to swallow up your pride now, like, bro. It was like, he was like, I didn't even see this coming. He was like, I can't keep nothing from you. How did you yeah. women move like that? We be mm -hmm. we be doing stuff right underneath your So that was like that was a good do. strategy. Yeah. He, yeah. Cause she was like. He was like, why you let me know about this in the beginning? He was, she was like, it was she all could. about timing. It really was. Timing. Timing is everything. See, he's the kind of person that you have to prove mm -hmm. that this can be done and nothing really slacks. Yeah. And that's why I told, said when she had that meeting with Melody for that, um, what was it, the brunch or whatever? Yeah. You got to make sure all that skit is in place first because mm -hmm. if you leave the house and he come back and is joking yep. that's the first well, thing he will say like, is i told you I told this, you, this you why i want you to go back outside the house so it has to be done so seamless yeah that nothing is budged but i'm glad that you humbled yourself uh there marso man we're glad you humbled yeah. yourself. yeah but i told yeah. you he you got a good woman started yeah. off as one of the people i knew i was mm. gonna hate him <laughs> oh and then became my number two. Yeah. Because I say Maurice is my number one. And um, Marceau, you to climb that ladder, boy. You better be proud of yourself because that don't yeah. happen with me. Once I don't like you, I don't like you. Uh -huh. So, so yeah. you good. <laughs> yeah. So once you take you off the list, you, you, off get, the you, don't, you don't get added back to the guest list. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Like Rick and Smiley say, I have my funerals for people. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> I know you. So the Sky Brothers are over at this house. Oh man! This and come to find out up. what they did, it was so beautiful. And I actually peeped this on Instagram last night. Man. And they are renovating a home for their mom, and they're bringing mm. her closer into the area. And you know they have to do all of the handicap accessible features and make sure that it's up to ADA code and all that good stuff, so that she will be able to live independently in her own home that's customized just for her. But mm. not only that. They paid for that sucker. Yup. Cash. Y'all better come yeah. through. You hear Especially me? knowing now where y'all came from, to be able to be in a position to do that for your mom. That's crazy. That's everything. That's crazy. I thought I was doing something when we brought my mom here to live with us. Because yeah. my mom lives with us. Mm -hmm. And my mom is partially paralyzed. 
But to be able to buy her her Pray own her. house. But to be able to have her in her own space, yeah. I would love nothing more. And not only that. Than to be able to do that. But, but I can't. But right taking now. the time. Right Cause I know they have some busy brothers, but taking the time for they they mom to customize it to make the the living is comfortable for her. Yeah. Perfect for her. That is yeah. And then even more so was like, you know, if we were on our skit as a comeback group and those houses were up, well, we, we could have put one, mama in one, one, one of those. those houses. Maurice was like, Yeah, that'll be way down the street. But <laughs> Aren't options amazing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm all here. That's what money do for you, man. When you got it. And working together. Yeah. Would do that for you. So, they're having a little conversation about it. And then, here go Marceau. He act like he just go slide that in there. He was like, bro, yo. Why are you here? You know how old people say, well, I got you on oh. the line. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never gonna believe what my wife did. She done messed around and had an um, interview. Got the job, but not only did she get the job, and Maurice was looking like about okay, time, okay, about time. Okay. You let her out the house, okay, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, what happened? Uh, what's next? I have a, I'm in a negotiation process of a hotel deal. He was like, what, bruh, what? Maurice, I'm getting all emotional right yeah. now. He was what? like, he was like, you should have been let her out the house, dog. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, from where we from. To be able to do something like from that. From the hood Come to on. this. Hashtag from hood to hotel. Uh -huh. God, and we talking about staying at the hotel, talking about building Man, and God knowing when Maurice started crying about that, man. That must be way up. I said, I, I feel you, man, because it's like, you know, thinking about where you came from, the struggle. And when you in that struggle, mm -hmm. you don't see no way out. And you thinking that this is the way of life and this is how we got to do it. And to move away from the hood. And come up like y'all have, not just come up, but to be multi millionaires on TV, got your own company. And I heard you say, brother, that you get ready to become an attorney. Come that's, on now. That's big, man. And y'all should be huge. proud of yourselves. And that's, that, I mean, that little fire under me, like, okay. I gotta do better. I gotta do better. Or, you know, we're doing good for ourselves, but we mm -hmm. can always do better. So, yeah. Thank y'all, man. I told, um, because the Scott Brothers um, manager, he reached out to me last week. And uh, he was like, I really like how y'all do. And I said, basically, what we do is one big house on a session. And I said, it's unofficial because yeah. I haven't finished getting my license yet. Yeah. And I said, you know what? I need to finish getting my counseling degree. I yeah. really need to and stop I need to putting start. it to the yeah, side. I need to start. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to counsel. That's really what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love But we do it. It's, it's, yeah. It comes natural. It just... It just it just flows out it because is. because we because we know that the world needs counselors yeah yeah we need to change the term though because people don't like to hear that term we just say life coach that sounds that's awesome. what it is yeah it's like it coach. makes you feel better about it but and every, it's the same it, thing. It, the end of the day, everybody's a life coach because everybody live in life and you become more powerful when you done been through the stuff to be able to come back to tell somebody else how to get through it, man. Yeah, yeah. But we ain't counseling today. We talking about Marceau uh -uh. and, and, and Maurice. And I could see, you know, them thing going, remembering back to when they was living in the hood, uh -huh. probably watching their mom and dad struggle, not having money to buy groceries and, you know, going to Sharing school, clothes. going to school with raggedy clothes, raggedy shoes. And you fight your way yeah, in there, out Yeah, because y'all ain't wouldn't, wouldn't keeping up with the styles and yeah. with everybody else because your parents couldn't afford it. But now, Getting tailor suit, alligator shoes, got on living. Making in, it rain in Miami. Living in nice houses, driving nice cars, man. And don't act uppity. Thank nah, you. Nah, humble. Thank you. Humble. Yeah, y'all did that. That's all right, man. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all yeah, did that. Yeah, y'all did that. Thank y'all for doing the show. Yeah. To show us that, because we needed to see that. Yeah, because sometimes we need a reminder. Yeah. We really do. Mm hmm. So. They got that out the way. Then they started speaking about these two telephones that they <laughs> that they were able to witness out there on the flag football um, field. And Maurice was like, you know what? At the end of the day, I got my own skit going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, you just got married? Yes. What kind of problems y'all got over there in the house? <laughs> said, y'all ain't even been married. What, 24 hours? Let me start. It's been more than 24 hours. Yeah. And he was like, I need to bring my ex-wife and my current wife together 
so that we can talk about some situations. Marceau said, right. uh, why would you ever yeah. <laughs> want to do that? Because something catastrophic is going I to happen. Said he said, you're going to bring your, your past <laughs> to, your <laughs> present. to your present. It's, yeah, it's just. <laughs> he said, something's going to happen that you're not going to have any control <laughs> over. Just leave it alone. <laughs> and he said, dog. And the way he said it, I was like, I, 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 I understood what you said. He mm. said, you got divorced. Moved here, mm -hmm. lost 40 pounds, mm -hmm. now created this wonderful life for yourself. And now you want to bring the two women together because you want to tell the ex that you think it's time to bring your son to live with you all full time. Mm. The last piece of you that she has that's great. And you want to take, take, take that, that away too. and bring it here with you. Not to say that that woman still has feelings or anything like that, but it's almost like when you end a bad relationship, not even mm -hmm. a bad relationship, when a relationship ends, mm -hmm. you want to hold on to the best part of that relationship. Mm -hmm. And the best part of that relationship, I'm quite sure, is monster. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to tell me that our marriage failed, mm -hmm. you moved away, and you're doing really good for yourself which seems to be way better than what he was doing when he was with her. Yeah. And now you want to reach back and take him. my baby and come live with you. Mm -hmm. And I said, I felt how Marceau said that thing. Mm -hmm. Even though I know that's not the motive. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know the motive of it is I want to be with my son and I want him to be able to experience and to see how black successful men uh, move. Yeah. And that way, it will become first-hand nature to him. To him, yeah. To be able to move in a way that produces fruit like this. Instead of him being able to just get glimpses of it when he's here in the summer. Or just see it on TV. Right. So, yeah. and I agree, there are some, there is a point in a boy's life where only a man can take him over mm -hmm. to the next stretch of his life. And I'm like... Yeah, but but it's the timing that we talked about. It's mm. it's all about the timing. But like you said before we got on camera, is she the mama needs to make that decision? Yes. To say, okay, I done brought him as far as I can bring him. Now, now I need time. now I need to give him to his daddy. You know, not necessarily you know, doing it just, you know, cause I think he visiting with over the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let the mama make decision when it needs to be full yeah. time. Yeah. Cause if that isn't in perfect time and an imperfect sequence, like the energy has to be on yeah, point. That, that could or it could go up. wrong. It could blow up. Yeah. But then on the flip side of this, Maurice, I got to tell you this, cause we went to the casting session with you and Kimmy. You're going to have to be in a position where you have to be primary parent with the support of Kimmy as your as secondary mm -hmm. because if that happens and she becomes the first primary parent for monster she's gonna have some resentment for you bruh mm -hmm. because in her life right now she does not need all of the added responsibility mm -hmm. of being a parent because she's in her freedom stage of life mm -hmm. she her son is off to college mm -hmm. she just got married it's time for her to flourish in some of the, th the things that she wasn't able to do mm -hmm. you know uh, in her 20s or 30s you know yeah so she's voiced that that's what she needs mm -hmm. so if monster does come stay with you you better be prepared step your game up to be uh -huh. the number one person in monster's life and I think he will. I think he will. Yeah, I think I he will too. I, I but he, he better will. make sure that that's at the yeah. forefront of yeah, everything. I think he will. Homework. Yeah. Shopping. Mm -hmm. All of that. And of course, she's going to help you and she's going to back you up because I can tell that that's the kind of woman yeah. that she is. I think he's going to do it. Yeah. I, I think he's going to do it. Especially where he came from. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, he going to, yeah. So, but I'm here for Yeah, it. we believe in you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, we have Martel. Martel is trying to mentally prepare for having surgery. The doctor was like, listen, surgery, you're going to be down for a little bit. He goes over and he tells his mom. He was like, mom, I'm going to have to be down for a little bit. Do I have your support in helping me get back on my feet? Because I'm going to need you to help take care of me. And I'm like, 
Well, he knows that him and Melody are not on the best of terms. So if all else fails, mama, mama got, got me. me. And they always do. <laughs> and mama said, you act like I don't have a job. Yeah. But I got you, baby. If I got to come over the house and cook you. But well, she was thinking that he was talking about coming and staying there. Oh, yeah. 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 He was like, no, mama, I ain't coming here. <laughs> <laughs> you coming over there to my house. Yeah. And I like how. I actually like this conversation with his mother way better than the other one because she was like, you know what? What you did was wrong. Mm -hmm. You a good person. You vote, you, you and her have created a really, really good life. I didn't like how she said, you know, a lot of people aren't able to do what you all have done together. And for that reason, basically y'all need to work this thing out. No, nah, no, that ain't nah, really the reason. Nah. But yes, they have done some wonderful things together. Awesome. But if he don't get his skit together, yeah, bye bye. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go. And she was like, "You need to fix this, and maybe you need a reminder of how wonderful of a person and how beautiful your union was. Maybe you need to look at the wedding tape, do yeah. something, borrow it, do something." And that's mm -hmm. what he did. He started looking at it. He started reminiscing. He started going back, thinking about all the mistakes that he's made. Probably trying to figure out. <laughs> Where did he start sliding this way and what? Mm -hmm. Because I'm still confused, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because when we first were introduced to this infidelity, it was said that they weren't doing some of the things that they were doing before. But now they but were, now, that they was already doing that stuff that he doing to try to get back right. I'm real confused. Yeah, so I don't. So. But I see they got married. Was it was it February two thousand eight? I'm bad with dates. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was like yeah. So, so was it about eight nine years? So I think about eleven, yeah, about eleven years they've been married. So y'all 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 got some time in the game. You got some skin in the game, but but I think I think Martel is really seeing. I think I don't think he ever not seen what he had. But you know, you kind of had a thing where you start taking stuff for, for granted. granted. So you be like. Okay, it's supposed to be this way. I'm at this point, so I don't no longer have to do what I used to do. But that's that's not the case. I think, like you said, it's that transition. Like, okay, not only do I need to be that man that I was when I married her, but I need to come up a whole nother level now because mm -hmm. I violated the trust. So, yeah. yeah. Do it, bro. Yeah. Do it. So, the meeting with the comeback group... They decided they were going to meet on the property, you know, go ahead. We, we got to meet in the middle of what we started. Mm -hmm. So everybody showed up and then Melody shows up. No <laughs> more <Martel. laughs> Which is because I don't even want Melody to come like, she got to come. I was like, <laughs> what did she do that <laughs> piss you off so bad, Letitia? <laughs> Did I miss something? Yeah, I mean they had that they tension had this, that tension at the last meeting, but I mean it ain't nothing new. Yeah, females do that. Usually yeah. they blow it off by now. I was like, what did, what did <laughs> I miss? I think they just went for good TV. That's I don't care. Yeah, but it's all good. So she showed up and Kimmy was like, you know what? We need you. Let's just go ahead and put it out there. Mm -hmm. You brought us together. <laughs> we decided to do a good thing. And our initiative is going to be just a memory, something that was a good idea on paper. If we don't get out there and do what we supposed to do, mm -hmm. the Lord ain't making no more land. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to, we need to do this thing. And do we have your support? Will you come back on board? And Melody said, you know what? I absolutely will come back on board, but here's the thing. It may be two couples, two singles or one single. And they was like, and everybody said, they said, whoa, 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 what? Yeah, that's the whole, that's the game changer right there. Like, what? And she was like, you know, I'm <clears throat> really having a hard time getting over the hump mm -hmm. of moving past infidelity. And they were like, well, what do you, I mean, is something is going that on? We, yeah, you yeah. know, something going on right now. And she said, and this is the thing that I was like, whoa. Yeah, this, this was the, yeah. She said, I can't get over it. Because I don't know where the area of happened. What made him turn? Because everything, everything that he's he doing now to repair it is what he was doing before. So he was able to do all that and still cheat. And she was like, I didn't see it coming. Yeah. We never stopped doing anything, which is not the story we got at first. Yeah. But we're going to act mm -hmm. like we don't know that. <laughs> She was like, we went to the parks, we met here, we went out on dates, we had, we were having sex, we were doing everything, mm -hmm. and he still 
found the time to be able to go out there and cheat. So I don't know what it is that we're fixing or working on mm -hmm. because nothing felt like it was broken. Yeah. And I was like, dang. And I was like, that's what that's that's what we that that's was what, what we, we needed, needed to hear right there. So now I understand. Yeah. I mean, I understood. I understood, but, but now. But I the have. picture is a whole lot more clear because I was like, why does she keep bringing it up? Because she's still trying to figure out where it went wrong, and he is not helping her to see where it went wrong because every time he she talk about it, he going to joking, and he say his little stuff like he's trying to get it together. But she looking now is like I done heard that before. I done this is mm -hmm. a, like Little Wayne said. This is a movie that I've seen so many times. Mm -hmm. So she done seen it all. So she still she don't trust him. Yeah, and like I said, she don't know what she's looking for. Yeah, she don't know that if you go to the gym and you're just thirty minutes late, is that it? Mm -hmm. When What's it could that? just be a thing. Mm -hmm. When you go to the when you go to Lowe's. Is that when it happens? Mm -hmm. Like she doesn't even know where to focus it on mm -hmm. so that she can figure out is I bet you that's an that's a mind buck. Yeah, it is. <laughs> once once like, trust is what? broken, it is hard. It is hard yeah. to get it back. Cause you don't know what you're getting back. Mm -hmm. But like <laughs> but God, like but in her head, like you said, especially when you blindsided and you didn't see it coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I can't even imagine. Like I'm looking at myself and I'm like, we always know where each other at. But yeah, that uh, it I would be bucked up too because I'm like, how, when, when, when where, when, when, and, yeah. and I know how and we why? move, and yeah. I know how we do things, and I know our chemistry, and I know <laughs> how we get down. How and why? Mm -hmm. You know, that would mess me up. But I can, I'm pretty sure she probably blaming herself for it. Like maybe, maybe it was me. Well, you know, maybe, women do. Yeah, maybe it was me. Maybe I'm not attractive enough. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know. It ain't uh, got nothing to do with it. You know, yeah, you know, it's, it, it was But him. you try to find something. Some reason. Because your brain, your brain Needs wants a reason. A reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she was like, I, I'm, I'm trying. I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know what the end result is going to be. But basically, here, I will try. And right now, I'm trying to separate myself as much as I can from the mm -hmm. business of Holt and Holt. Yeah. Until I can figure out what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Everybody was like, wait. Yeah, they, they they talked a whole lot of stuff. But at this moment, when they saw her like that, it was like, you know, is there anything that we can do? You know, as friends to help y'all out? Yeah, support y'all. And she was like, nah. She said, I just think that I just need time to... You know, get my brain straight and stuff like that. Because it was like, because it was like, we don't want you to, you know, y'all built all this right here. And now, this little situation, not little situation, mm, but yeah. this situation that you just gonna walk away from it all. But unfortunately, sometimes you do. Sometimes you have to for mm -hmm. mental st stability. So now it's time for Martel to go into surgery. And I can tell you right here, he ain't cheat on me, and it was a freaking trigger for me. When when he said, as long as I know that you have my back in anything, mm -hmm. I know that I'm going to be okay. Ho, 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 ho. What you're not going to do is cheat, disrespect me, put me in a vulnerable position, but still in the back of your mind, you know that you, you believe that I'm always going to be here mm -hmm. for you when you need me to be. That was a trigger for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when her head was like, okay. Oh. So this the, is how it the, works. the chick that you was messing with on the side, where she at? Yeah. She's supposed to be so wonderful. Take care feel of all your void. Yeah, feel the void. Where is she at now? Cause they don't do that. Mm -mm. Side chicks, side dudes, Never. they don't do that. They, they just collect the benefits yeah. and going on back home. They take the paycheck and don't have to deal with the bugs. They kid. don't have to deal with no taxes. Yep. That's why they like being in that position. That's the side. Yep. yep. So she was like, you know what? <clears throat> your timeline for recovery is you're going to have to be off your feet for three weeks. Mm -hmm. And in six weeks, you'll be able to put a shoe on your foot. So, yes, you can come back to the house. We're going to need some changes. You're going to be downstairs, downstairs. for like, three oh. weeks because it's easier for you. And I'll be upstairs after the three weeks. We need to have a conversation about what we're going to do. Other arrangements. I think that we need to separate. I think there's that we just need time apart. And I think that's where, like, that's where it got real. What? That's where it got real for him right there. And he was like, I'm getting ready to go into surgery. Mm -hmm. And this is when you want to have a conversation. Listen, I like I always say, you can't piss me off and tell me how mad I'm going to get. 
Mm -hmm. So if this is where she feels like she needs to have this conversation with you, but now so be it. I kind of take back what but I said I take, last, yeah. last week about her timing is off. But I kind of thought about it now hearing her say uh -huh. what she said this week. It's like you didn't care about how I felt when you went and cheated. So I don't care about how you feel right now while you're on the surgery table. I'm just going to let you have it, let you know yeah. how I feel. And this is so when you come out on the other side, I'm going to set the expectations to let you know this is how it's going to be. Because in your head, you think I'm going to be here like 100% like it was. But now nah, I'm going to help you. Yeah. And I'm going to let you know. For three weeks. Three, three weeks. weeks. <laughs> I'm going to help you for 21 days. <laughs> After 21 days, you on your own per se. Yeah. When you get that boot, you better figure it out. Which, which that's when his mom going to kick in at day 20. <laughs> day 22. His mom going to kick 21 in. 21 and a half. <laughs> Mamas don't do that. They, they come for them boys. Oh, my God. Yeah. And now he was sitting there, he was, you know, the medicine had started kicking in. And I said, you know what? A drunk heart speaks a sober mind because mm -hmm. he really was telling her, he was like, you know what, Melody, I love you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change. I'm going to basically, I'm going to be a better husband for you, a better father, mm -hmm. all of this. I'm going to right my wrongs. And she was like, are you just saying this because you, you, you know, you under the influence of all this medication? He's like, he nah. was like, he's no, like, I'm good. I'm clear. I'm very clear on what I am saying. Mm -hmm. And she got to crying and all of this, but she's still battling because she wants to believe all, all of that, that said, so yeah. badly, <clears throat> but she can't. Yeah. It's going to have to be time and he's going to have to prove himself. And yeah, his, his actions going to have to speak louder than his words. Yeah, I mean, in anything that makes you look like you're up to something, cut it's it off be, at the knees. Yeah, mm -hmm. Get rid of the phone. Like I said, put them apps on your free phone. Yeah. I mean, you... A matter of fact, don't even have no phone. Yeah, because he was like... For 90 days, don't have yeah. no phone. <laughs> he said, you know, I'm trying to build transparency. My wife has access to my phones. Which one? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, she may have access to that phone. <clears throat> But I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, but I, I mean, for me, man, I, I want y'all to survive. I really do. Yeah, I mean, I, I know we talk, we okay. talk, we talk some skit about y'all all season. That's all. That's cool too. That's but, part of the term. Y'all yeah. signed up for this. But we want y'all, we want y'all marriage to survive because y'all done accomplished some a whole lot of good stuff. Mm. And it's an inspiration. And it's not material yeah. stuff either. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, a little bit of, of all that mixed together. Yeah, and I get what Melody was saying. She was like, out of <clears> everything. <throat> My husband is my friend, mm -hmm. and I feel like my friend betrayed my trust. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's big right there. That's big. Because yeah. I'm big on loyalty and friendship, and me and my husband are like best, best friends. friends. That's, that's, I yeah. could not imagine if my best friend just, ah, yeah. check but, me in because somebody going to get hurt. Yeah, that, that was just, <laughs> I was just telling my sister because um, when Lynette went to, she went to an escape room yesterday. Yeah, yo. <laughs> and so I, so I hung up with my sister for a few hours and uh, we got to talking about marriage and relationships. And I told her, people be asking us what our secret is. And I said, our secret is that we always been best friends. We don't know the transition. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we is. Yeah. We just sleep with each other. That's yeah. the transition. Yeah, and I told her, I said, <laughs> I said it transitioned from being best friends to best friends with benefits. And she busts out laughing. That was crazy because when we got engaged, we never knew we were dating. Yeah. We were friends. Yeah. We were just like, it was a group of us. Mm hmm And then the group got smaller and smaller and smaller. And then we looked, it was just us. Mm -hmm. And we just hung out all the time. And we yep. did everything. Like, when I say best friends, like, we didn't even have sex. Because we weren't together. Exactly. We were friends. Yep. And he proposed to me. And I was like. And she said, yeah. And then I was like. Huh? What happened here? <laughs> How did the heck did we get engaged when we're not together? <laughs> yeah. So I tell anybody, you know, marry your best friend. Yeah. And y'all be together forever. Yeah. Well, and one thing about best friends, y'all should be able to talk about it everything. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't even matter. We talk yeah. about some stuff that some people be like, y'all really sit there and discuss. Y'all talk about that? Yes. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, we talk about everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on that note, thank you all for a good season. I hope yes, we come indeed. back for season two for this. I really, really yeah. do. Because I really want to, I really want to believe that what we're seeing on social media now with the Holtz is real, it's genuine, and it's pure. Mm -hmm. And they're on a road to... A stable marriage. I really mm -hmm. want to believe that. Yeah. And I hope that season two will be able to show us that. Yeah. You know. 
and then on season two. Don't y'all don't y'all come with the drama because last week y'all was on Twitter acting a A. <laughs> and I like to see y'all get a little catty, but I don't like the maliciousness that yeah. I saw last week on Twitter. I was like, yeah, y'all y'all better. Y'all were that. going at and I was better like, than that. Uh huh. Ugh. And, and putting up receipts on each other, and I was like, uh, see, yeah. that's the stuff we 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 do. Don't fall into that stereotype. Don't, don't do that. We don't. Yeah, don't, don't fall don't into do that. that. Y'all might be. It, it might be for good TV, but in our eyes, it's that typical black people black skit people stuff. Yeah, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.